Hey, it's another day and another chance to shed some light on the probably the best bang for the buck performance you can get for your money, the Alpha Cool Core series. This time it's about the 140mm big 2500rpm little monster capable of pushing up to 115.56 CFM at up to 3.96mm of H2O. So again, numbers wise a freaking little monster. But how does it perform? Let's take a look at the benchmarks. Letting it run wild on our case almost heatsink benchmark, it was able to keep the CPU at a shocking 38.1 degrees C above ambient. That's actually just a margin of error away from the Arctic P12 Max and the much bigger Shock Force 160. Looking at the whole picture, this thing was capable of knocking out contestants like the Nokia NHA14, Be Quiet Silent Wing Pro 4 in 140, and pretty much every other existing Alpha Cool Core fan, every Arctic 140mm fan, and basically everything. The last few 140mm fans still standing are Nokia A14 Industrials and a fan I will not speak about today, otherwise the last core episode which wouldn't make any sense. Truly a monster of a fan. But what about the noise? Cause these things may be core performance, but they are certainly not core noise optimized. Well, um, uh, both better than the Core 140 at 2000 RPM and not better. Funnily enough, at max performance its ratio is a little bit closer to the bottom left edge and at the very end of the fan speed, meaning 25% in our benchmark, it's again a bit closer? But for everything in between, it's actually not better. But overall, the noise to performance ratio has a very strong resemblance to the one we had at 2000 RPM. So really far from good, but uh, hey, at least it beats the Arctic P12. But performance overhead we got here is completely insane. But why is it different? Well, apparently because Alpha Cool just cannot stick to the same blade design, because for the 2500 RPM version we got a new wing design. And we actually know this one. On here we got the seven much bigger wings with a lot more space in between them. Something that strongly resembles a Nokia NFA14, but hey, at least we know that the design works. Other than the fan wing design, for the eyes, really nothing has changed. We still got the absolute masterpiece of a design art they call packaging, we still got a simple 40 cm long PVM cable and we still got absolutely zero optimizations, extras, rubbers or anything even remotely noticeable all around the fan. In the end, it's a core, core performance and nothing else. Though there are differences under the hood, behind the central piece we now are back to dual ball bearing. Probably because 2500 RPM on this size is a bit too much for a liquid one. On the build quality, I really don't like repeating myself, but it's again the same thing. It's not the sturdiest thing out there, it's really not, but it's definitely comparable to an Arctic P14. It will flex a bit if you, you know, give it a nice little push, but uh, it's not bad in an outstanding way, so it's still very much acceptable. However, and now I'm gonna repeat myself again, this fan and every other core fan I had required a little oomph to it stop making that weird ass clicking noise and once I pressed the 
fan wings back in, everything was okay, it's still not okay, AlphaCo should really look into this. Maybe it's a wrongly calibrated machine, but to be honest, I still don't care, it shouldn't happen, period. That being said, let's get to the ridiculous price increase AlphaCool expects you to pay when going from this level of raw brute force performance to this level of raw. Raw, raw, rawest. More brutal performance. 50 cents. At $7.99, this is again a complete freaking joke for that price tag. Sure, it's not the best noise to performance ratio, but if you are on a budget, but you still want brutal performance, I just don't know a single fan that can keep up with what you are getting here. You will need to compromise on basically everything except for performance. That one is, is just there, nothing else. I would have loved to have these be slightly less noisy, it would have catapulted everything else off the charts, but at least we got price and performance right. But okay, this should be it for AlphaCool and their Core 140 at 2500 RPM. And if you are looking to see how it performs on top of a radiator, wait a tiny bit more, we are almost done with the benchmarks and then we will see how each and every fan will perform with multiple reds at multiple red sizes. A lot of work, but once we are done, ton of data. On a side note, we also have a Discord server, so if you wanna join, the link is down below. And of course, we still have channel membership, so if you are looking for a good way to sell your soul for an RG poop emoji, that's a pretty good damn way to go. Additionally, you can rest assured that the income will not only keep the channel afloat, but it will also serve to get psychological assistance, because next time it's, it's Big Daddy again, and, and this time he's bigger and angrier. He has been lifting a lot. Anyway, thank you for watching and if you want to continue, have a look at our take on the P12 Max. Still one of the best noise to performance ratios out there. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.